Hey guys, so today I have a really exciting haul for you guys and this is my January collective haul and um, first off, I want to say if you're the type of person that doesn't like hauls, then I'm sorry um, but I honestly, I love hauls because I if I find something that, you know, um, some other YouTuber said and I really want it, I just go right for it um, but if you're not the type to like hauls, then just exit out of this video because I don't want to get any hate comments on it um, so I'm just gonna start really quick because I kind of have quite a lot of stuff so the first place that I went to was Urban Outfitters because I know that they have this humongous sale going on I forgot when I guess it was the beginning of January or something um, and I just go in there because I normally don't go in there but I went in there this time because they had a huge sale going on I just wanted to see what's in their sales section I normally don't go in there because they're so expensive um, but yeah I just check that out and I actually saw some sweaters there for sale for $20 but I only had like $10 on me that day so you know knowing me I had to buy something even if you know I don't know, I just had to buy something. So the first thing that I bought was a dress. Now they have a lot of stuff that was on sale that was in the spring summer kind of range but I mean it's summer spring so my phone just rang. Um, so I bought this dress and it's a teal um, purple dress and the straps they have double straps and it's like a little corset on top and it flows out like this and it's actually really really pretty. Um, at first I saw this and oh this was mm, this was originally $49.99 and then turned to $29.99 and then went to $9.99 and then it said that you get 50% off so it was actually $5 but then since this one if you notice I had a missing button right there so they gave me a 60% off instead of $50 so it only turned out to be like $4 and I was like hell yeah um, but actually I didn't know I get more discount because it's uh, damaged I never knew that um, I just picked it out because I knew that I could just find a button and just sew it on and yeah, I mean, $4 for this dress, um, definitely a good price. And this is um, the Bicorpus one, so I definitely got this. And oh my gosh, my school colors are teal and stuff, and then tomorrow I'm supposed to wear something that is school color. So I think I might just wear this, but I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So next off, I went to H&M because they had... I guess, no, they didn't have any sales going on, but I just went to H&M, and they still have the holiday bags, which are kind of weird, but um, the first thing I bought, oh my gosh, I've been eyeing this since forever, you know, and these are the leather shorts, the fake leather, so it was like this, and I didn't get this on sale, sadly, but I really wanted it so badly that I just had to get it, and this one, I already wore it once, no, I wore it twice already, so I don't have the tag on here, but this was $24.95. And it's so cute. I've been eyeing this for like months and I just finally, you know, wanted to splurge on this. Um, so I got it. And I know Forever 21 has a cheaper one, a little bit cheaper, like less than 20 or something. But they don't have a zipper, which is kind of awkward for me because it doesn't have a zipper right here. So that's the first thing that I got. And then I went back and I, <laughs> I went straight to the sales section because it was like right in the storefront. So I just went straight right towards it and I picked up two things I only had $12 on me that day so I had to borrow some money from my from my um, cousin's wife and their sales section was so amazing I honestly love the H&M sales section like they have oh my gosh why is that commercial so loud all right Pop -tarts. um so I went to the sales section right away and there was a lot of stuff that was on sale and it was really really nice um and the first thing that I got was this dress and oh my gosh I am a sucker for Peter Pan collars anything with collars I'm a sucker for it you know like this one has a collar I'm a sucker for that so I had to buy this and oh my gosh I love this freaking color ah look at that it's so cute oh my gosh and it comes in it has a little black um string which is really nice I mean I like it honestly and they only had one left and then it was a size 6 I normally wear size 2 or 0 but you know 
it actually wasn't that big. I honestly didn't care about the size. It just looked so pretty that I wanted it. But when I tried it, when I got home and I tried it, it fit really nicely. Except for right here, the armpit hole was a little too big. But if you pull the dress, like in the back, you pull it down, or it's perfectly fine. So, and this was originally $29.95, but it was $10, so I thought that was definitely a steal. And then, um, apparently H&M has a conscious... I just bit my tongue. Um, had a conscious line, which honestly I have never heard of that. Um, but a lot of their stuff was on sale, the conscious line, and so I picked the skirt up, and it's so 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 cute. When I first saw it, I saw the pink, and I forgot what other colors they had. Um, but I saw the pink one first, and I was like Valentine's Day, so I definitely just picked this up. And amazing deal! Well, usually it used to be twenty nine ninety five, but changed to seven dollars. Like that is just a great deal. Like I just had to get that. And I'll definitely wear this for Valentine's Day. And um, yeah, it's just like this, and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I have been looking for a skirt that you know I could pull all the way up to my um my like all the way up here, right under my uh, chest. And it just fits there so well. And this was in a size 32, and that's the smallest. And I honestly love it. I've been looking for dresses like this, and it's still long enough that it, you know, it isn't too um, short. So definitely, this is the cutest skirt ever. And I'm definitely going back to try to get the other colors. Only if I like them though. I don't know, but this is um a very nice uh uh, uh texture. It's not sat. I don't know. It's sort of satin, but it's sort of not. Like it's proper satin. I don't know. Whatever. I don't really know my fabrics that well. So yeah, I spent seventeen dollars there. So I had to buy like five dollars for my cousin's wife. But I mean that's okay. Um and then I went to Sam's Club to pick up some groceries um this weekend. And um if you don't know Sam's Club is like a supermarket that kinda sells everything in bulk, kinda like um a BJ. You know what? I have no idea why they call BJ's BJ's because that's just an ugly name like it's like it. So it's kinda like Costco, you know? Um and they do have clothing there, only sometimes they have clothes and shoes. It depends on when you go though, because they always have like different um inventories depending on you know who you know sells it to them and so oh my gosh i came in the lucky time okay so there was these shoes on sale dkny shoes on sale not on sale but for sale <sighs> they had black and they had brown and a tan and i picked this up and it's a suede material it's actually really good material this is dkny which is amazing for twenty dollars 1995 1999 either one so it has a little tiny wedge which i don't know okay with but yeah it's just dkny which is freaking amazing like you normally would never find that somewhere but let me tell you oh my gosh people there are so aggressive like they try to find their size and stuff they mess everything up so when i got there it was just like a whole pile of mess and you know how long it took me to find a freaking size 8 it took like half an hour and my aunts had to help me we were digging through each box trying to check out because some people put like a size 6 or the 5 like it was so messed up so i was lucky enough to find this my sister was trying to get one too but she couldn't find her size sadly like there was only one size nine left for her like how are you gonna i told her to get a size nine and size ten but she didn't want to so that was her loss um so the next thing i got was that i needed a jacket i am in love with anoraks um i've always wanted one for like since the beginning no since last year but i just never got to one because i don't know, i didn't find a perfect one and i know forever 21 sells them but they're so expensive 50 dollars for one i know there's 50 40 another 50 but i just didn't like them as much and i really wouldn't spend 50 on them but sam's club oh my gosh they had this jacket out and it's oh my gosh it's something even better than i thought so it's an anorak oh it's just kind of like a trench coat but mixed with a, a trench jacket mixed with a coat so that's kind of like an anorak and it just keeps me warm so much and it has a little thingy where you can adjust the waist and then you have pockets in the front and also the side so you can slip your hand in here on the side or on top here and it has a little thingy there and it's pretty long i'm five six and this goes right above my knee so that's a good size and the thing is that inside it's like wool material and then on the hood how amazing is that it's fur full fur and oh my gosh it's so soft it's so amazing i mean the sad thing was that it's not um detachable the hood so i can't just wear it for, 
spring when it gets a little bit warmer but I mean this is definitely a great find and this was only $29.99 so I just had to buy it because honestly you don't find a good deal like this anywhere else so this was from the LVD I have no oh, I have no idea LVD laundry no clue what that is but I don't really care for brand names and this, I bought it in a size small and there was only two left so thank god it took it and so yeah I love this coat so much I wore it for the first time today it was just like, and then my friend like asked me he was just like is that a new coat and I'm like yeah so thumbs up there and then um I've been actually looking for uh, combat boots for the longest and I know Doc Martens have this black one. They have a whole collection of Doc Martens. I love Doc Martens shoes, but I honestly can't splurge so much on them. Um because I actually want like the whole collection, but I just can't. So I I know that they have a lot of black combat boots like in any store. So I just picked this one up and I'll try to find the best deal and their first time I had like thirty some dollars. Some of the places were like 30 or something, but um, I bought this for $20, which is a freaking amazing deal. And I, um, this is just like a store in like where I live, and it's called Square One. I don't know anywhere else has the best. Like, I only found one in the store, but it's inside a mall. So I bought this for $20, and I love it. I honestly love it. I love combat boots. I love the edginess of it and how masculine it is. Um, so $20, that is a really good deal and they have some other colors and I'm definitely going to go pick up a brown one because $20 you know that's a really amazing deal um on the subject of Doc Martens I did splurge on one. Oh my gosh let me tell you about this Doc Martens story so I am on Amazon and I was like checking up on Doc Martens because I saved it to my wish list um the cherry red one and um the white one and a black one but the black one I don't really care for anymore because I got that and so I checked up on the red one and just when I had and I got enough money it goes out of stock so I waited a couple days and it's still out of stock and I just get so mad and then I saw that the white ones were on sale it was for like 89 bucks and I was just like shit I but I was like damn it I'm just gonna go buy that one and then I did and then you know what freaking a day after the red ones come back in stock and I'm like I was so mad, but then I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to be happy because I did want the white ones, and so, you know, I got the white ones now, and I was thinking, you know what, the uh, cherry red ones don't really match spring, and match just fall a lot more, fall and winter, and now, like, since winter is going to end anyway, I was going to wait it out and buy it, you know, the upcoming fall, so that problem was settled, and right now, it is still going on sale on Amazon, I'm so mad. But yeah, um, today, it took exactly a week for it to ship. I bought my first pair of Doc Martens. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I love Doc Martens. Um, so yeah, this is the freaking box. And it's oh, so cute. Alright, so I got the white ones. And I tried to open them in class today because I sent it to my friend's house instead of my house because I didn't want my parents to look through my packages. So I sent it to my friend's house. I feel bad that he had to bring this big box to school. But it comes like this. It has little Doc Martin and crosses on them, which I thought was adorable. And I got that. And it, all right, so yeah, it's a size eight. Um, they smell really, really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie, they smell so bad. But um, this is it. I'm so happy. It's my first pair of Doc Martens, and this is the happiest day of my life. I spent my money on a good pair of shirts. Mm. Become a yellow string. I don't need that. Though. I like the black better. Okay, so it's like this, and I got that for $89.99, but it was plus $10 shipping. So it's be free shipping. So it was just $99. So I think that was a good deal for Doc Martens because if you buy it online, it was like $115 for like that color. So. Yeah, and then I I splurge on Jeffrey Campbell Lita's also because I've been eyeing Jeffrey Campbell Lita's for the longest. I love the Jeffrey Campbell line, especially their Lita's because they're just the prettiest things ever, and I did splurge on it. I bought this from Nordstrom for $165. And yeah! 
This is like the happiest haul ever. Oh my gosh. So I bought some Lita's and they have five inch um, platform. No, 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 five inch heels and a platform so basically your legs just go whoosh so it's not like that it just whoosh so any girls that really want to wear heels but just can't wear heels i say buy these and you don't even have to buy the exact brand to be honest um you could just buy like i know they have some knockoffs of this so if you just look you'll definitely get these for a knockoff for like less like 75 percent off technically because i know amazon has one that's like for 33 dollars and they look almost like this so i bought a black one and this is the black leather distressed one with the um dark heel um they have a lighter heel one but i actually wanted a dark one just because that was my more more of my style so oh my gosh this video is so long I'm so sorry about that um so the last thing is that I went to um, a fabric store. I think I went to Michaels. Michaels, yeah. And I just bought um, cheetah print cloth like that because um, if you see my last haul, the plain side haul, um, I bought um, two crew necks and the white crew neck. I actually want to add a cross to the back, a cheetah print cross on there. So that's why I bought this. And I bought like half a yard, which is like for six dollars. And I don't know why, but I picked this up as well. It's the Jelly Belly candy canes, which I really don't like candy canes, but I mean, I just bought it. I don't know really why. I think my sister wanted it, so I bought it. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much everything and i just got a text message um bye tanya all right so um that is everything that i bought so sorry that this is such a long haul but i don't know i think this is good and everything is still on sale so definitely go ahead and i know the white doc martens are something really really hard to style even for me so maybe i'll do a video on how to style the white ones specifically because i know they're hard to style so yeah, pretty much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm so sorry that this video is so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.